Greetings, hey, welcome to your reading. Capricorn, welcome. This is your January 2021 reading with me. So welcome to this brand new year that heralds in the brand new energy. I calling it, we are being shaken awake, literally. The cosmic movement in the skies is so vast and so grand that is happening at this point in time that really, and I've been banging on about this for quite some time, nothing is going to remain the same. And the more and more you dig into it and the more you experience it yourself, the more you can come to understand that this is a truth. Everything is changing at such a deep level. It starts at the uh, fundamental physical level, then it goes through to the consciousness level of yourself and then community wise then collective conscious then it goes through to the galactic energy this is a change that is so all-encompassing there is no way that we can possibly remain in the same form or thought field that we have currently been in and that's why i call these times we are being shaken awake and when you're shaken awake, it's not voluntary. It's literally the universe taking things by control and going, wake up everyone. We're on the ride of our lives. This is the new life. This is the new you. So yes, 2021 heralds the beginning, I guess, through 2020 as well, of this change in a cycle of procession in the cosmic energy field. So we're moving into this age of Aquarius from the age of Pisces. So Pisces was a water sign and Aquarius is delivering to us air sign energy. And air sign energy is much more rapid. It's technological based, it's community oriented, it, it's um, social, it's out there. So movement and change and differentiation and orientation is all beginning to occur. Now just remember too that we chose to be here in these times to experience this great period of penultimate change on the planet and it's obviously something that comes very very rarely. So as we walk through this period of change which could go on for 200 or more years we are at the cusp of it helping to shape how humanity moves forward. So these are great moments in time. So what will January 2021 bring for you guys Capricorn? We will do a really nice in-depth reading. I've got these four decks of cards here. We may or may not use them all. These two can be quite deep, especially this one on the far right. This is a full tarot deck. It is the John Holland Psychic Tarot. This is a Doreen Virtue Daily Guidance. This is one of my favorite decks. It is the Chakra Insight Oracle deck. And this one is the Mandela Crystal Oracle. So let us start with this deck over here on the left, the full tarot. <laughs> That's nice. It's come out a little bit like on the side or heading itself upside down but with this particular deck I tend not to take the reversals because it is slightly more oriented as a um, oracle deck. So your first card out is the Major Arcana, it's number five, the Hierophant or the Wisdom card. This is the beginning of the procession of the change of cycles in the sun and the solar system and the planetary uh, movements and this is where we are becoming enlightened, we're becoming more aware of using our intellect in particular and so I think it will happen for all of us but you're starting the brand new beginning of a year off with this card of wisdom or the hierophant. So this is about obtaining knowledge or understanding in your own cycle of life. So perhaps for some of you you have reached an end point at which you have gained a lot of knowledge. For some of you it could have been a cycle that is completing such as a university degree or some sort of scholarly studies or uh, even in your career field it might be that you've come to a cycle and you are moving on to the next step. It could even be a cycle in your own personal evolution or awareness, philosophical beliefs or religious beliefs. It could be a cycle in a personal relationship uh, evolution as well. But the Wisdom or the Hierophant card often talks about very solid Capricorn type energy grounded in 
big establishments or governments or cooperations or rules and regulations. But I think we will find a lot of this wisdom changes out and moves up a level into these new structures and ideals that we'll all be forming as a humanity. So this is the awareness of growing wisdom, of expansion of the ideas and the mind as well. So it's a really good provident card to come out for your first one for the beginning of 2021. It talks about expansion, knowledge, awareness, learning, acceptance in all different aspects. It can also reference big authorities as I've just said and government institutions or big corporations or companies that have rules and regulations in place so somehow these may play a role in your life as you evolve into 2021 whether or not this is where you work or it's career opportunities or it's something to do with a government institution it could be about shifting or applying for uh, passports or documentation that is required by and the that government. That was a rather interesting synchronicity because in my room I I had Stevie who actually looks very much like this little doggy here and the dog is down here looking up at perhaps its master it, almost as if it's about to bark as well so she was giving some sort of bark going on there some of you may find that there is um, movement or energy around your pets or communication with pets some of you may get new ones you may get a dog in your life some of you may fear well a pet as well at this point in time. Uh, the, you could also receive a new spirit animal or a spirit guide into your life too. So that was the first card that jumped out and I often think the first one in a reading is the ground setter for the energy. It feels quite Capricorn energy in as much that it is earth sign, it is stability, it is dedication, it is hard work, it is uh, following the rules or the current rules that are in place so this might be something that you feel you uh, you know find a grounded satisfaction and oh as the new year starts as well oh <laughs> the next one was <laughs> shot out like nothing is another major arcana and it's the wheel of fortune so it doesn't come out often but it makes sense that it comes out in times like this when we've just been through the December 21st solstice but also the big the great Saturn and Jupiter conjunction which is the gateway for this beginning of the age of Aquarius if you like so it was a powerful month in December and much realignment is taking place at many many levels so when the destiny card or the wheel of fortune comes out it talks to you in great depth about the fact that the universe is guiding you into your new destiny now this can be in many different areas depending on where you're particularly focused on are you focused on a new destiny in your career aspect or a new destiny in your personal life or your health regime or your philosophies or beliefs or spirituality so for you independently where is it that your destiny is evolving but there is nothing more certain than the fact that it is the slow turning wheel of evolution that is taking shape so something big and grand is evolving and this is usually considered good karma or good fortune because it is the wheel of fortune it can be a long term duration event and it might go for as long as 10 years some of you if you are turning into a new decade this could be symbolic of a new decade evolution that is coming for you as well because it's come out next to this wisdom card or the hierophant card and this is often about being grounded and having firm boundaries and having protocols in place it may fall into the realm of career for, for a lot of you at this point in time for you Capricorns but not everyone of course you'll you'll know where it's falling you'll get the idea of where you feel the wheel of destiny is working for you what is next in store for Capricorn for January the first of the astrological signs for the very beginning of the year memories of love this is the six of cups this can be about going back in time reminiscing experiencing deja vu could be really quite something for some of you meeting friends and family members from the past who you may not have seen for some time because perhaps you are going to events where you are catching up with them 
And these could also include things such as school reunions or like celebratory events, engagements, wedding anniversaries, going back to places where you might have lived when you were younger or going back there through the mind and reminiscing of the past or what happened to you as a child or reigniting childhood fondness or feelings of love and happiness and playfulness and enjoyment of life. Sometimes this is a card to remind you to do that and that life is not all hard work, that you must have the good things in life as well and reward yourself. Sometimes this can be the ignition of a past lover coming back into your life and sometimes this is for releasing that person but sometimes it's to reignite with them as well. So let's see one more from this deck and then we will move on to another deck of cards. This is for Capricorn for January for 2021. They're all dropping on the ground today. You have the nine of wands that has arrived for this one and this is spiritual strength. So there's two cards in here that are boding very well about strength in many terms. The wisdom card has this great grounded practical strength which is, feels like an expanse of strength because the sun is captivated in there and so is knowledge and knowledge is esoteric even with this card because he's often thought of as the hierophant or a person like a priest so sometimes philosophical or spiritual aspects can come into life even with this wisdom card but this one is kind of re re amplifying it because it says spiritual strength and he is there in the state of meditation with this Buddha behind him taking on the weight of whatever it is he is going through. The nine of wands can often represent that you may have been through a really intense time of learning or evolution or growth or processing and that you may feel tired from all the hard road that you have put into things that you may have you know thought my god when is this going to end when am I going to get to the finishing post I started this race a long time ago and I want to finish it this card tells you you have the strength both physical grounded and spiritual to get to where it is you want to go so don't give up there's a strong message in here to me about saying you know destiny is on its way it's coming in and it's here for you to evolve and shape all of these things that you have been working on in the past. And you have been working hard because Capricorns, you're one of the most dedicated, determined of the 12 zodiac signs. And you do things practically and logically, step by step. Well, these cards sort of show that. And this one is saying it's coming to you. So don't give up if you've been at something for a very long time and you're thinking, oh, I feel as though it hasn't been worth it or have I been doing the wrong thing or did I not listen or learn enough on the way you have and it's all taking shape and you will get there so that's a nice powerful message to come in for the beginning of January for you guys I think we will move on to these next cards now even though I love doing the full tarots because they're so interesting and they tell such a story these cards are also really nice. I think I have them upside down, but it doesn't matter. They're an oracle deck. Crown Chakra, matching the color palette of the Destiny card, is about ideas coming in. It's also the apex of our spiritual aspect in the physical body. So it's the top of the mind. And both of these cards are activated through the mind a little bit, especially this one here. And we've got this wisdom coming through here so the crown chakra is understanding the wisdom of the universe and being able to comprehend and utilize the messages that come in this is talking to your higher self connecting with your celestial helpers understanding cosmic messages connecting with synchronicities that come in and there may be many that come for you so keep an eye out for really powerful synchronistic moments or opportunities or messages. You may find yourself becoming more psychic or more attuned to that aspect of your life and this may in turn give you opportunities to focus on accuracies for you, for your soul journey and for your physical journey here as well. So the crown chakra is right up here on the top of the head 
and as I say it's where the cosmic messages come it will also be referencing through to the third eye chakra and activating that area of the body as well it's known as the Sahashara the crown chakra let's see oh <laughs> another one from the crown chakra area and its intelligence education knowledge perception and flexibility so i've kind of been saying all these things anyhow but what else are we coming back to here we're coming back to the first card that came out which is called wisdom this is education intelligence knowledge perception the and flexibility i think the word flexibility should be a key word for all of us as we move into this new age of Aquarius because more than anything we are going to have to be flexible with our thoughts, with our wisdom, with our intelligence because intelligence is evolving the same as the human body, the same as the planet, the same as everything. So we've had a story here that's come full circle with you guys, but you are definitely being activated at the highest level of awareness and opportunities and guidance from the galactic beings, from the galactic realm. I think this is a really positive reading for you, especially if you've felt a bit lost in 2020 or if you're still feeling unsure about a decision to make or a direction to take go within yourself and connect with this crown chakra the sahashara and find the wisdom that comes from within and know that the destiny is on its way anyhow and that the, everything is evolving for you if we come back to this is a more light deck this is the doreen virtue daily guidance but it's a deck that i first started working with many many years ago and i've always enjoyed the lightness of its messages and sometimes the clarity and accuracy as well so this is evolution again it's time to go and i've been talking about it right from the beginning we are evolving we are moving on there is no future in the past so holding on to the past will be detrimental to us in many ways moving forward is where your future is and it's where the answers lie now this will be a personal card depending on where this is really hinting to you to go whether it comes through relationships whether it comes through changing a health modality whether it comes through a financial perspective or prospect in your life or a career one or a spiritual one you will know where this is talking to you and where it is asking you to head so it says the sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life see the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle and we come back again to the destiny card which is the wheel of fortune and it is a new cycle coming so some of you guys are capricorns you are about to fly high and notice the changes that come in for you this could be your year this could be your turn to experience this freeing up see how free this person is they're able to let go of the past and move into the future and that is the karma release too that's the debts being paid off that's the freedom of this spiritual evolution that is coming our way so this is a beautiful powerful reading for you guys i think it's really worth focusing on and meditating with as well to as i said before to connect at your higher self to see what your inner wisdom and your innate intelligence is telling you about your future and where you might be headed with it so another one here for Capricorn from this deck. Well, you have really received what I call a really bountiful uh, reading full of messages of personal introspection that you can utilize at your own declaration and at your own need and desire. Relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal or balance a relationship then snuggle more closely with your creator. 
As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. So if relationships are on your mind, then do exactly what this says and learn more about yourself. Imply, apply your wisdom and intelligence to your relationship with yourself. Honour and respect the who you are and feel free to be you as well. And I think we will see more and more of that as we process our way through the 20s. This is going to be the years that we are not afraid anymore to be who we are and to stand up and to not be cuckolded by outdated and outmoded belief systems or objections against us as individuals you know this is the era of freedom for the for the person not behoven by governments and rules and regulations and religions so once you manage to step into your own personal relationship and respect it and honor it and be you, then you also find other beautiful relationships coming into your life, including love relationships and career, you know, boss, employer, employees, family relationships balance and become harmonized as well. So ponder all of these messages that are coming and, you know, come back to these um cards if you want to during the month or even any time during the year and re-instigate the energy that is coming from them now one last card for you guys for january and i am using this deck it is a powerful deck but it is well worth bringing into the reading especially at the beginning of the year because this is the tone setter for the year ahead and these cards are deeply powerful they have these mandalas and they utilize the crystals and then I'm going to read the message to you from the book ascended master Kathumi and moss agate sacred ecosystem crystal master suite 333 so I do think I have a moss agate here and I will find that and I will get the book out to read you my moss agate is a little bit darker than the one on the picture but this is my moss agate which I'm putting in on the middle of the mandala for you and I'm going to read to you from this the book and I think this is very uh, relevant and quite interesting <laughs> so ascended master Kathumi and moss agate sacred ecosystem we bring you the blessing of the sacred ecosystem this is a gift of conscious connection supportive relationship and magnetism which attracts to you the souls in need of your light where you once may have felt as though you were not in the right place this blessing shall now rectify that you are meant to belong and contribute freely to your true soul community you are destined to feel as though you have found your way home and can attract and be attracted to those that can support you and benefit from your support too. As you let go of past rejection of the belief that you have to accomplish your divine life mission on your own or fight to have your place in the world, you will allow the power of the sacred ecosystem to transform your life. Your life purpose shall flourish and your experience of conscious connection with the world around you will heal your heart and soothe your soul. Wow, what a magical, deeply personal, powerful, cosmic energy force is coming in with this card and this message that is arriving for you guys. I hope you really feel the depth of connection with this and that you can truly um, be engaged in the vibration that it's giving off now if you wish to take a photo of this card and put it on your phone um, you, I would do that and I would have this for your whole year because this is a very 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 powerful personal message that is coming in so I'm going to just continue to read now and this is the rest of the messages and then at the end of the messages there are some like little processes that you can do as well so I will continue now there is an exquisite intelligent to divine design a way for every aspect of every being to be made to serve the great plan of love there is a story of a cracked pot which was used to carry water from the fountain to the master's table because of the crack it leaked water along the pathway arriving at the master's house only partially full 
whilst another pot without a crack was able to hold its full complement of water for the household. The cracked pot wondered if it was not a good enough pot. One day the water carrier felt compassion for the cracked pot and asked why it seemed sad. When the water carrier realised the pot felt that its flaws were bad, especially compared to the undamaged perfect pot, he asked the cracked pot to look down at the path where it leaked water each day. What do you see? said the water carrier to the cracked pot. I see flowers, replied the pot. That is right. Those flowers have sprouted along the path because you have been watering them. Each day there became an offering of beauty and grace upon the master's table. The cracked pot felt very happy to hear this and realised that what it thought was imperfection was actually just a beautiful way to serve. This story teaches us something of the sacred ecosystem. In the sacred ecosystem, everything that is even the things we might initially write off as unwanted or shameful, serves the greater good. When we simply are who we are, the ecosystem thrives. It doesn't always make sense, but it's true. This is why you never need to judge yourself or another. The divine is ingenious in its creative design of all beings, including you. All things serve. Could light be more beautiful or desired than when it is yearned for a break through the dark night? All things have a sacred purpose. If you have felt ostracised, abandoned, rejected or criticised by a system in which you have tried to serve, take heart. When the oracle of sacred ecosystem comes to you, you are being notified that the universe is assisting you in finding your rightful place your home upon the earth, for you to best fulfil your life's work. Now that may mean that the system you have been doing your best to operate within has benefited from your light and presence more than you realise. It may also mean the time has come for you to shift from one system to another, that there is a new community in which you can serve. This may involve physical relocation or an energetic shift, or both. It may result in new connections forming and old ones dissolving. You may feel like you've stepped out of a story or a world into a completely different story or world. These are just signs that you are evolving into a new sacred ecosystem. It may take time before you settle with confidence into your place within that new ecosystem but that assurance will come in due course. In the meantime, remember that the way you best serve in any system is to be as authentically your divine and brilliant flawed self as you can. And there's a healing process that goes with this, and it says to integrate this guidance, you might like to use this invocation as follows. I call upon the crystal angel of Moss Agate and Ascended Master Kathuni, who love me unconditionally. Thank you for the divine healing blessing of the sacred ecosystem. May all beings be lovingly guided with divine mercy and unconditional love into the sacred ecosystem that will allow them to fulfill their divine potential. May all beings find their true home in life where they can love and be loved, naturally attract those meant to be in their life and fulfill their divine potential for the greatest good. Through unconditional love and my own free will, so be it. So I think Capricorn, that is a powerful, wonderful, very personal way to finish this, your first reading for this brand new cycle of cosmic evolution that we are walking into. And with a message like this and the cards that arrived and the ability for you to be ready to walk into this new destiny path and utilize all of your own innate intelligence and wisdom you are about to walk into something of grand design and it's your grand design no one else's this is for you so thank you again for choosing to listen to me for being part of team celestial 
I am grateful that you are. I love doing these readings for you and I love listening to your comments and to have your support for that channel as well. So I wish you all a very wonderful embarking into this new year of 2021 and as we move into this age of Aquarius and we begin to unfold the story that is about to be our new future. Check your moon and rising signs when they come because you're the first one I'm doing for this uh, year's readings. And yeah, just have a wonderful time embracing and understanding the concepts and changes and messages that are arriving for you. Much love everyone. Namaste.